this is Sean Linders, digital coach for Union County School District. I'm really excited about this one. This is a way of attaching standards into Google Forms and then actually being able to track your standards. And uh, this has been something I've been wanting to happen in Google Forms for a while. We've always talked about how we can make these tests more relevant to what we're uh, doing in the classrooms as far as being able to tell what standards the kids are hitting. Um, this is actually a pretty simple process as far as what would be needed on uh, the teacher's end. I've kind of already done all the work that would be needed ahead of time. So I'm going to just jump right in and we'll do uh, a nice little sample on what needs to be done. So I've got a Google form and what I've done is inside my question I've put a little tagline with the standard. Now how you tag it really doesn't matter but you would want the standard attached to your question and you don't want to actually write out what the um, description of the standard is just the little short standard code for it and you'll notice that this one I've added in that this has two different standards that would hit that topic and uh, one that I'm going to show you later I've even done where it's like Geo4A and Geo4B but all you would need to do and I've already gone in and taken a couple of sample quizzes and here is the spreadsheet for it and there's a couple things I'll have to hit on that kind of are a requirement for how I built this but you see what the results are going to end up being is we'll have the standard and then whatever score level you want to put this in I put it in out of 100 I know some school districts will do keep their standards based on four and you can actually go in and change this number and it'll average these out it might take a second to actually cross it yeah it'll average it out of four but if your school district does something like an eight standard or something like that it'll actually do that and bigger this is just kind of based off of a quiz but about the test varies but there are some requirements for what you will need to do when you make your quiz I have it where it's collecting email and doing a name so you can either do it the automatic collection or actually have them put in the email and then I have them just doing their name if you're doing something like a grade period or something like that I'd recommend you throwing that in as your last question because it will mess with how I've built this but I'll show you how I've built it so you can kind of tweak it to make it work so here's the form response and so yours would have the timestamp, student name, the score, and then the actual student's name. And this is kind of important how this is set up because it's actually looking for D as your um, student's names and then E and on as your standards and the actual question results. First thing you must do is take the quiz yourself as the key. This is actually supposed to be out of 20, something got tweaked and it stayed as 22, but it doesn't really matter first thing has to be your key the very first entry has to be your key if you forget to do that you could always insert and then type it all out as your key and then as far as that this standard grade book and I'll show you how to get this copied over to yours I'll do that first and then we'll go in the actual details on how this was all done so I'll show you how to copy this first so I'm gonna go to another quiz I have and this one has a section break but still the same thing it's collecting email and the very first question is student's name and it jumps into the actual questions you can do as many student breaks as you want you can do short answers so long as there's a single response I can't you can't have multiple possible responses so this is really good for um, multiple choice or a single checkbox but I'll go to responses and I'm going to create a spreadsheet I haven't created one yet before and so here I am once again you'll see A is timestamp B is email C is score I missed a question so this actually should be negative I'm going to change that manually There we go. So now my first one is my key with all my answers. 
And then you see E and on is actual choice questions and column D is the last name, first name. So I don't have the standard base grade. So what I would have you guys do is I have this single sheet and I'm gonna spread, share this out so you'll get one that's probably gonna be a force of copy. But then when you have this, you would just right click and do copy to existing spreadsheet. And then you can just jump right over to recent And then this is the one I recently had open. So you can notice when you jump over, you can hit open, but I already have it open, so we'll come over here. I now have copy of standard base gradebook. When I go to it, it fills in the students. Now you'll notice it hasn't done anything with standards because I need to actually go in and manually paste the standards. So I wanna see what my standards were. So E had MA8. I'll show you something pretty neat here in a second too. So you notice it just carried right over. I have B. I'm gonna leave standard three blank. I'm gonna show you why here in a second. Oh, I had two standards on it. All I'm doing is going in and control C, control V, copy and pasting. Really nice thing is if you know the list of your standards ahead of time, you can type them out. You just want to make sure they're typed in exactly how they appeared on the form. I've already done EE4. I've already done EE2, so I don't have to do those again. And then there's EE5. So what is happening in this is it's searching way down here and this allows for 198 students it's searching way down here for the responses and seeing if in this one does this appear and if so it's going to count them and i have it converting the answers into scores and then those scores are tracked into your standards and something really cool is let's say i wanted to just combine ee1a and ee1b together if I take out that A, it merges them together. And sometimes those standards are so close that I wouldn't care how they're actually tracked. It should adjust its thinking, I believe. Oh, nope, I messed up the uh, reference on there. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. Um, but you see, they're actually tracking it out EE3, nobody got right. Those are average. Student 2, let's see. Yeah. So all those are getting filled in, and then we have our standards. Now, my goal later on in a future video is to actually have it where we get a overall standard report, a uh, student report, and then I'd like to actually do a report that has the standard and any student that failed to meet the standard criteria and we'll have that set to where it looks for 70 or below or even 60 or below. We, I can figure out a way of setting that to whatever level you want. So once again all you'll have to do is take the actual standard base and then just copy it to whatever form you want. Set your standard value which is going to be defaulted and then put in whatever standard you want now sheet reference form response one that's defaulted anytime you do one of these forms but if for some reason you had gone in and renamed this to uh anything else let me uh, clear this so it loses that if i had this named bob then all i would want to do is in the sheet reference type in Bob and then it'll find that sheet and start pulling that data in. So it's defaulted like I said to form response one and so it'll uh, it'll pull those over. That's bothering me that those are gapped like that. Oh, missed four. 
Not that this really mattered, but go ahead and put them together. So um, I'm going to actually open up this up for uh, any comments and uh, any questions you might have. Like I said, I'm planning on expanding on this. I'm really excited about this because this is something that is missing and it's really easy for this to be utilized by teachers to look at the standards for this. Um, I have it set up to where you can do up to, I think, 53, yeah, 53 questions, 53 standards. I don't know why you'd need that many standards listed. Um, you could turn around and group this as a whole and see overall how this standard went. So instead of saying one, if I leave it off as E, then it's scanning the entire quiz for anything, any standard that had just MAA.EE. So you can see how that overall standard did. And it's up to you. You can come up here and just change this to say over. A uh, couple of places you won't want to edit is going to be right here. You have that indirect. Anything inside this has the if errors and ifs and average statements. And then, like I said, this limits to 198 because I have some extra scripts and stuff written in here. So at 200 and like 400, I have additional things. So if you have more students than that, then. Uh, you should be able to insert rows and it do okay, but I haven't had a chance to actually check that out. So, once again, I really am excited about this. If you have any um, suggestions, any uh, alternatives that are out there, I've never seen anything that I've been able to use before, and then I got this idea, and hopefully this works for you guys. Uh, thank you, and share this out with other people, and uh, thank you again. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Please click the like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on any future videos.